Hi guys, you are watching Interesting and Ficus. Do you remember this barrel? Who remembers? You should know that we plan to make a floating house out of it. Well, today is the day when we'll do it. Today we'll have a very unique video because in such a way we'll sail for the first time. Earlier we used propulsor or oars or simply drifted in the wind, but this time we'll have something unique and interesting. We took such a special aggregate, I don't know what it's called, which pushes an object on water or on ice. Well, this thing should push away our barrel house on the water, you understand? Shall we turn it on? Yes. As you have noticed, this thing is powerful and we hope that this power is enough for our house to float. We have found a new way to use our foam cubes. We'll fill our PVC pipes with them, which are perfect in size so that our barrel doesn't overturn and keep balance on the water. It will be, you know, a kind of ballast float that will keep our barrel in an even condition. So we have got two such turbines, we made such cones ahead for better streamlining. If suddenly we'll be sailing at high speed along the waves, although I doubt it, let's see because we haven't used such an aero fan yet. Also we foamed up all the cracks so that these pipes don't accumulate water inside. Although there is styrofoam there, but still if water is accumulated there, the structure will become heavier and will submerge more under the water. By the way, if you're waiting for the continuation of the construction of our house in the summer cottage, this huge two-story house, then we ordered all the necessary materials for further construction and next week we'll show you how our house will be transformed further. If you're also waiting with us, then be sure to hit the thumbs up and write about it in the comments below. Whoa, guys, it looks superb. We'll also write in the comments how do you like the red color because we have doubts that it was the right choice. We decided to check the power of our aero engine, so we have connected it to such a structure. It's like a semi wheelbarrow and semi self balancing scooter. Well, now we'll check whether it will run with the help of this aggregate. I'm 100% sure that it would be two times faster if no one was sitting here. It's just that this motor doesn't have enough air intake. There's enough large flow to move it, but I'm sure that on a floating house everything will turn out cool and will move fast. Well, we think that if we place this aggregate on top of our barrel, then the air intake will be greater and accordingly the movement will also be greater. So we've got an aero mechanism that will move our boat, but we still need a rotary mechanism, the part with the help of which we can maneuver on the water. This is what it'll look like. I'm already finishing it. It just remains to make a handle. The mechanism will be here, the handle will be inside the barrel, and somehow like this, it should work according to our plan. It's really cozy and nice there, but we'll find out how it will float tomorrow because it has started to rain here and it's already getting dark. Tomorrow morning we'll ride on our floating barrel. By the way, you see we made such a rotary mechanism. It's now in the trailer cart, so we can check it out. Here we have a regulator, you see, and at the top we'll have our air engine. That's it, we are ready. I already look forward to ride on it, so let's start the car and go to the lake. We found a suitable location with clear water and now we're thinking about how we'll lower our structure to the water, because the descent here is very sharp, but we hope that we can lower it down without much difficulties. 
Okay, guys, we lowered the structure down into the water. Now it remains to fix our arrow mechanism, and that's all. We can get in there and sail away. It's really so cool. If this thing really floats well, then it will be simply amazing. Whoa, so much of croaking. Well, I remember when we made our first boat from the barrel, which was small, but it was cool as well. I really like that. But this barrel is three times bigger and three times cooler. The dogs are laughing at you. We decided to first test our barrel and check whether it is drowning or leaking anywhere. As you can see, everything went well, everything looks fine, so now we can unite the rope, turn on the engine and sail to the middle of the lake. Whoa, it's so cozy here! Now you understand why I like the video with the barrel so much, but then the barrel was three times smaller. This is like a house, you see, it's not just kind of boat, because we've got everything here, even a TV. Well, let's start it! Closing the hatch. We're sailing, and just look at the speed! Whoa, we are really sailing! There is a small nuance that we are floating against the wind, and it slows us down, but despite this, we're still moving, even against the wind! The house turned out to be very cozy. We just turned off the engine so that at least something is heard because the noise is heavy. Now we're just drifting and have almost approached the other side. Can you imagine? We crossed the whole lake in this barrel in a matter of several minutes. You see, we are almost on the other side. Yeah, seriously. We were afraid that because of the large wind edge, we would not be able to sail. But in this case, this flow helped us because when we turn off the engine, then due to the windage, we can move on. I would really like to spend a night here on this barrel boathouse and just sail where the waves carry at. But now it's really cold and we don't have anything here to even heat up. So we can do this some other time. If you want us to film a 24 hours challenge in this barrel, be sure to write this in the comments. So a capsule really floats and the experiment was a success. If you like this video, give it thumbs up and also be sure to check out our previous videos. They are really cool. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and wait for the new videos next Sunday. It was interesting and fix us with you. Bye!